Item number, SCP-393, Object Class, Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-393 is to be kept in the possession of a designated D-Class subject, hereby referred to as D-393. At sight, the vitals of D-393 are to be monitored at all times, to prevent SCP-393 from linking to important SCP personnel in the event of D-393's death. A secondary D-Class subject will remain on standby for emergency reclamations of SCP-393 if D-393 should die. Description: SCP-393 is an ordinary 9cm by 14cm blue day planner, with a year embroidered into its cover that always matches the current year. The information on the back of the day planner reveals it to be a product of publishing. SCP-393 has the ability to link to a nearby subject via unknown means. Once linked, the day planner will appear in the hands of its owner whenever it is not being watched. Additionally, any event written in the past dates of the day planner are instantly recalled by the subject, as if they experienced it themselves. Events written in a future date of SCP-393 will elicit no change until the date of the event has passed at which time the subject will recall the event. If the subject currently linked with SCP-393 dies, SCP-393 will choose a new owner within 10 minutes of the previous owner's demise, based on proximity. There appears to be no maximal distance for this ability. Experiment Log 393 All written input to SCP-393 is done by Researcher Assistant Test 3931 Subject One linked D class Male Description Subject instructed to do nothing of interest for the entire day of date expunged and is monitored by closed circuit television. Written Park date with the girlfriend today at 3 o'clock. Outcome When subject is questioned about what he did the previous day, he responds. I went to the park with Cindy for a few hours. Review of the security tapes show that the subject did not leave the facility and had a completely uneventful day, in accordance with witness testimonies from guards around the facility. Note: Well, at least this proves it doesn't change history, just the subject's memory of it. Additionally, SCP-393 seems to fill in details for the memory, such as for the girlfriend's name and the location of the park. More tests will have to be done to find its limits. Dr. Test 3932 Subject One linked D-Class Female Description New subject instructed to do nothing of note for the day of date expunged and is monitored by CCTV. Written event to be as brief as possible. Written Dentist 130 Outcome when subject questioned in depth about her dentist appointment the other day, she gives a detailed report which includes the dentist's name and age, no doctor is found in local phone registry, the length of their wait, the sorts of magazines available in the waiting room and their contents, etc. The details recalled surpass the subject's natural memory, according to previous mental cognition tests. Test 3933 Subject One linked D class Male Description New subject instructed to do nothing of note for the day of date expunged, as per previous tests, and under CCTV entire day. Written Getting hit by a bus today. Outcome The moment the event is recorded into the day planner, subject goes into a deep coma. Neuroimaging scans show no brain activity past basic bodily functions. SCP-393 links to standby D-Class subject after 10 minutes. Note. Well, now we know what happens if you think you're dead. Dr. Test 3934 Subject One linked D-Class Male Description New subject instructed to do nothing of note for the day of date expunged, 
and is continually monitored by CCTV. Written, going to somehow defeat SCP-682 today. Outcome, outcome is identical to previous test, save for the frozen expression of horror on the comatose subject's face. SCP-393 links to standby D-Class. Note, it was worth a shot. Research assistant. Test 3935. Subject. One linked D class. Male. Description. Subject instructed to do nothing of interest for the entire day of date expunged and is monitored by closed circuit television. Written. Going to favorite restaurant. Outcome. When interviewed about his day yesterday, Subject informed interviewers about his trip to the bar and grill, where he enjoyed ribs and beer on tap with several buddies. Subject is able to give names of his friends when questioned. Friends and the restaurant mentioned proved to be real from Subject's past, according to previous interview. Test 3935A Subject One linked D-Class Male Amnesiac Description Subject instructed to do nothing of interest for the entire day of date expunged and is monitored by closed circuit television. Subject recalls nothing about his time outside of Foundation due to previous medical condition. Written Going to favorite restaurant. Outcome When interviewed about his day, Subject talks about going to the buffet where he had Chinese food and tea with his girlfriend. Investigation into existence of said buffet proves it is not a real restaurant, along with the girlfriend he visited. Note: This proves that SCP-393 draws on the subject's existing memories, creating false ones where some are lacking. Dr. Test 3936 Subject One linked D-Class Male Buddhist Description New subject instructed to do nothing of note for the day of date expunged, as per previous tests, and under CCTV entire day. Written, reaching Nirvana today. Outcome. After passages written in 393, subject goes into meditative state, not responding to any outer stimuli. Neuroimaging scans show abnormal activity in the temporal lobe an area of the brain often responsible for religious visions. Subject expired of thirst after days of inaction. Interview Log 3931A Interviewed Test 3931 Subject Interviewer Dr. Forward Review of subject's mental state after test 3931 and the extent of memory alteration. Begin Log 531. Date expunged. Doctor. So you say you spent the day yesterday at park with your girlfriend Cindy. Is this correct? Subject 3931. Yeah, it was a pleasant afternoon. Doctor. How long would you say you have known Cindy? Subject 3931. I don't know. About two years? Doctor. Do you realize that you have been in this facility for a year now? And before that, you were in the state prison for a life sentence. Subject appears deep in thought, visibly worried. Subject 3931. But, oh, Cindy was my girlfriend from back in high school. I used all my conjugal visits to see her. Doctor. Hmm, I see. How exactly did you see your girlfriend yesterday? You haven't been let out of this facility for months. Subject appears distressed and begins to fidget nervously. Subject 3931 You guys gave me leave to see her. It was our two-year anniversary. Doctor We don't give leave to any D-Class at this facility, Subject 3931. I'm afraid that you never left the facility. Cindy does not exist. Subject is increasingly agitated and distraught. Subject 3931 But I know her. We were high school sweethearts. We've been together ten years. It was our anniversary. Subject stands up. 
Doctor. Subject 3931, sit down now. Your stories are broken and make no sense. Cindy is not real. Play the tapes. Video logs of Subject 3931 for the previous day begin playing with timestamp. Subject 3931. Those are fake. You're lying to me. This is just another damn test. Subject picks up video projector and moves to smash it. Doctor. Sedate him. Guards tranquilize Subject 3931 and take the body to his holding cell. Doctor. Glad that's done with. Turn it off. We're done here. End log. Closing statement. Subject 3931 terminated after refusing to work and attacking any staff who entered his cell. SCP-393 has a heavy effect on the memory of the subject, but subject's memories fall apart under questioning. Dr. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-392, a plant now found in Site-103 and formerly found in the households of nobility, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.